Good evening. We're here at FHD Sports uh, at the home of FC Fresno. The Foxes open up their season on Saturday, March 17th against the Las Vegas Lights, and they are led by Coach Smith. Coach Smith, thank you so much for being with us tonight. No problem. My pleasure. So, you know, you had your time at Sacramento, and, and you're here. You're, you know the Valley, and you know the passion that the Valley has for soccer, football, soccer. And so tell us a little bit what to expect from your team offensively, defensively, they, how they're going to play, and are you ready for tomorrow night? This place is going to be loud. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's uh, a great atmosphere in here. I've got a good blend of experience and, and, and some young guys as well. I think the experienced guys will be able to calm any of the nerves of, of the younger ones. Um, I think I have a team that's that's ready for a fight, you know, in, 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 a, in a positive way. And I think they'll need to be tomorrow based on the research we've done of Las Vegas. I think, you know, that's going to need some men out there and it's it's going to be a, a battle. And I, th we, I think we have enough creativity to, to unlock them. Um, and I, I I truly believe we can we can win the game. I don't have a crystal ball, um, right, and if, but we've, we've planned properly. We're going to be set up properly. Uh, we've done all the work, and you know, once the whistle goes, it'll be up to the guys on the pitch to uh, to do the business. So, with everything that this is, and, and Grant, it's just one game of a long season, but this is just this is a historic game. Yeah. So, how do you keep the players from letting the emotions get too big, and 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 just let them know, hey, this is just one game. When they come out, and there's going to be people wearing kits and just yelling and screaming and being loud, and you know, we get a lot of messages over at FHT Sports how excited they are about your team and and what's going to go on. And how do you prepare them for something like that? And then, so they focus so on the game. It's a good question. Um, I just actually said to the group there uh, that, you know regardless of whether they're in the starting 11, in the 18, or um, just, you know, a player that's here and representing the club. They, they're all a part of it. They've all been a part of it. They've all put the work in pre-season. And it is a historic moment. I've been fortunate enough to be involved um, with a couple of historic moments. One was uh, 2011, Portland Timbers, the first yes. year in Major oh, League Soccer. That was, and, that was a great year. And then with the academy with Portland Timbers later on, they're first ever academy. So it, it, it's something that nobody can ever take away from you. And I've just told the players that, that, you know, that, that no one will be able to ever take that away from them. They are the first ever Fresno FC squad and they've got to represent the city with pride and mm -hmm. represent everybody involved with the organization with pride. And we've got a, we've got a great bunch of young men. Well, it looks that way, and a couple of days ago we were out at one of your uh, trainings over at uh, Fresno Pacific, and it was raining, but everybody seemed focused, dialed in, and um, so uh, that was great. We want to just kind of make, make that clear. It looked really good. I didn't get a chance to speak to you about it then. Your preseason has gone pretty well. You want to talk about some of the highlights, maybe some of the positive su surprises overall? Yeah, I mean, everybody is focused. They should be. They're professionals, so I, I would expect nothing less. And it's my job to, so to pull players back in line if, if they're not. You know, this is, a, this is their jobs. It's their livelihood. It's my livelihood. So we, we take it very, very seriously. It's not... It's not, you know, a part-time thing, and we, you know, we, we pay our bills through through other means. This this is it, um, and and that's shown in the preseason. Uh, yeah, it has gone very well. Um, not a big one to get too carried away with preseason results because I've seen teams have really poor preseasons and they've gone on and, and right. won, won things, and I've seen teams have great preseasons and then regular seasons not not gone well for them. But um, I think overall. It, it is going to be. A, it is a measure of, of what the team's capable of doing, and um, we have played very well. The results have certainly been very good. In, uh, but ironically, the, the best game that we played was against the Galaxy, and that, mm -hmm. that was the only game that we've lost in preseason. You know, I think right. we tied one and won all the rest. Um, so I think the, the most pleasing thing for me was the fact that. Um, you know, our last game, we, we were able to, to, to sneak a 3-2 a victory, which, I don't want to, again, I don't want to get carried away with it, but it's very, very nice going into the, tomorrow, knowing that that was our last game. That breeds a bit of confidence in the guys. We managed to uh, beat a very good team that won the conference last year. So um, they have to take something away from that, and they'd be silly if they, if they don't. So. 
Well, that comes from the top, and uh, it sounds like a great thing is about to happen here, and uh, we're really honored that you're here. Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to FHT Sports. We're honored, we're privileged to be on the field, on the pitch here at Chichancy Park with Kyle Rennish, uh the newest uh, addition to FC Fresno. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, MLS, uh, outstanding keeper. We're going to ask you a couple of questions, and first, welcome aboard. Very good to be here. That's great. And uh, so tell us how you got here. I know you were you were with uh, Frank uh, Yellup a couple of years ago. Walk us through. Yeah, yeah. I think they had had uh, a different keeper in and things didn't work out. And I still uh, was a free agent. So I had known Frank from my time in Chicago and I uh, think I'd done pretty well there. So, um, yeah, when I got the call, I was very excited to be uh, a part of a brand new thing like this that it sounds like and seems like they're doing it right. So, uh, yeah. Very grateful. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, all the talk of Fresno, and uh, that's not hyperbole, uh, yeah. because uh, we've wanted some high-level soccer here in a, for a long, long time. Yeah. And uh, you are going to be uh, a big part of that. So, you know, welcome aboard. Yeah, great to be here. So talk to us. How, what's that like? I mean, there's one thing that being called in, but assimilating with, with the players, knowing their tendencies already. I know you've had uh, not a lot of time to work with them. But uh, how does that work? Do you have uh, little side conversations, stuff that goes on on the pitch? How does that work? Yeah, I think it's a combination of a number of things. I think uh, getting familiar with any, everyone in the locker room really helps um, and kind of getting reads on personalities and what type of stuff you can use to motivate and you know talk to each people each person mm -hmm. um, but then we had a scrimmage last weekend against the Monarchs which I think was probably the most important is seeing guys live in a game seeing how they react to adversity and different plays and uh, situ situations how they uh, what their decision making is like so that has helped and then uh, yeah for the week we've been doing a lot of kind of like scrimmaging and 11 v 11 stuff to just really get comfortable and get our chemistry and stuff going so uh, yeah we were lucky to see you uh, a couple of days ago uh, over at uh, Fresno Pacific and yeah. you guys looked like you were in top form yeah yeah I mean uh, Ryan Kenny's a very good goalkeeper uh, trainer I actually uh, got to play with him in college many many years ago um, so he's been working us well and uh, Sean and Augie the three of us have uh, I think had a pretty good chemistry so far and we're working each other and pushing each other and everything so yeah it's been a great uh, couple weeks leading up to this so you've played in Chicago you've played in uh, Salt Lake you've played in New York and Atlanta Tell us what that's like you know, as a professional player and, and you're moving around and you, walk us through that. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been great. I'm uh, very grateful for, for my career. Um, it wasn't the plan to play professionally, so when I got drafted to Salt Lake, it was a bit of a surprise to me. And, uh, yeah, just tried to keep my head down and work as hard as I could and ride it out for as long as I can. Um, but, yeah, all the experiences I feel like have really uh, made me the person and player and educated me in a lot of ways and helped me help a lot of the younger guys with the experience I've had that I've seen, that I've seen make a lot of uh, younger guys uh, you know more successful and everything so it's been great. You know uh, as, as a New York transplant I'm here 12 years now and I grew up with the name the Cosmos you know with the NASL uh, you know Pele, Franz Beckenbauer, El Riasin was in that, Chip Messing and I know a couple of years ago you won the Golden Gloves you yeah, know, yeah. walk us through that season, that fall season. That was uh, pretty spectacular. Yeah, I mean, that was a great a great year for me. I'd been uh, behind Nick Romano in Salt Lake, so I hadn't gotten to play very much. So to uh, go there and kind of get a full season of games and kind of re-show everyone and re-show myself, you know, that I still had it and that uh, I was still meant to keep playing and everything was just a great, great year. So to be a part of that launching that team kind of reminds me a bit of this when you're starting something from the ground up it really gives you an opportunity to uh, be a part of the beginning of something and hopefully make something to be proud of yeah that brings a, a separate question if you don't mind and that's you know when you know you're good and, and you're playing alongside another keeper that's good and uh, we have a lot of young people out here you yeah. know they're 12 13 even younger who, who are keepers and uh, walk them through that motivation to stay focused, to just work your game and those kind of things. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult position because uh, when you're not it, you're you feel like you're not it at all because it's all kind of an all or nothing position that you don't get subbed in unless there really is a bad injury. So it's definitely easy at times to let your head get down. But of all positions, it's the most important that you don't because as soon as you put your head down, that's the moment you get your break and your shot. And if you're not ready, you miss that one opportunity and it could really put you in a bad spot for the rest of your career. So it definitely is a position that requires the most mental toughness and uh, focus of probably any of them. 
Yeah, well, I have to tell you, uh, we at FHT Sports are looking forward to watching you perform. We're looking forward to tomorrow night, and we're honored to have you here in Fresno. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Be well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And this is FHT Sports, and uh, we'll be back with you shortly. Thank you.